The big hype in the sports world the last two weeks has been the upcoming boxing match between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Here to talk about that and much more, that would be former IBF life middleweight champion and Breitbart Hall of Famer for the Hall of Champions and soon to be inducted in the October into the West Coast Boxing Hall of Fame, Paul the Ultimate Vaden. Paul, thank you for coming in. Rick, thank you for having me. Um, now, before we get to the upcoming fights, let's uh, talk about you a little bit. This is not your first time at KUSI. I went to your YouTube page. And I saw something back from uh, 1993 when you were, you know, not a champion yet, but you were trying, working to be a champion as a boxer, uh, you know, going, uh, you think you were 20 and 0. Um, and even in this story, you were talking about giving back to the community. Can you, you speak to that? It's always been important uh, that I give back. My late father always told me that do not forget where you come from. And so uh, my allegiance is always to uh, giving back uh, to less fortunate but also uh, being a pioneer and, and a role model for, for the children. So that, that hasn't changed. You had talked in that story about wanting to become a world champion. It was, uh, let's see, you beat Vincent Petway on August 12th, 1995 via 12th round TKO. I think Richard Steele stopped the fight at just like the very last bit. of What was that moment like for you with all that hard work and then now you have a belt that you wanted so bad? Hmm. Uh, next to my son being born, it's just the greatest feeling I've ever uh, uh, encountered, um, ever felt. Um, you got to remember, since I was four years old, I wanted to be champion of the world. Um, it's all I ever thought about. I lived it, I breathed it, um, I sacrificed for it. So to finally accomplish a lifelong uh, dream, um, to also be a three to one underdog, mm -hmm. um, to also uh, counter punch naysayers and things like that, um, it, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. And to this day, I still have that type of mindset, that type of processes, thinking as a champion. How much work goes into mm. becoming a champion like that? Because you know we have people for high school that want to become an NFL player, baseball players, you know, tennis player, golfer. Mm. What? How much work really goes into doing that? Well, it, it's 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 endless. And what I mean by that is, I always say you're always at work, um, even when you're not in practice. So when I'm at the when I'm at the stoplight. I'm, at, I'm thinking about specific combinations that I'm going to throw and, and how I become better. How can I evolve? How can I cultivate my gifts? What's going to separate me from the next, next individual? So um, it's, it's an unbelievable process and um, you, you never arrive. So when you have a mindset that you never arrive, mm -hmm. there's, it's endless what you can achieve. Uh, in 1999, um, your life changed forever. You uh, faced Stephon Johnson, I believe, at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City and on, you knocked him out. And, 15 days later, unfortunately, he passed away. Um, I, I understand his trainer said he had a condition, but you know, I mean, how, I can't even imagine how tough it was to get over. How tough was it for you to get over that? Well, it's, it's the toughest thing I've ever endured. It's, it's not the reason why I ever boxed. It created my exit uh, from the ring. Um, I retired, but as being a champion, it was important that I was not only a champion in the ring, but as I started to grow and start to uh, develop, that I became a champion in life. And um, for a while, I was a contender. I wasn't even a contender. So um, it was the toughest uh, episode that I've ever had to go through. Um, but through hard work, dedication, belief, faith, um, I was able to endure and, and overcome. And because of it, I, I believe that I'm even better. I mean, we're, we're 20 years after the fact. I mean, do you, do you still think about it to this day? Every day. Every day. But I also know that, I, um, that I'm also being used as an instrument uh, to inspire others to uh, overcome, uh, to believe, to have faith, uh, to have that sick to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, to continue to have that continuum uh, mindset. So um, I'm being used as an instrument. Let's let's talk about this. So you transitioned from probably the lowest low. Now you're you're back on a high. You're a corporate consultant. You, you have so many jobs. But let's corporate consultant. You know, helping out these things. Do you, I do stopped you, defining. Yeah. I stopped defining myself long ago. Um, seriously, um, on what I do. People ask me that question. They say, "What do you do?" And I I stopped defining myself. I I wanted to be to a situation where you say, "What I can't do." And that's what can't I do? So um, I, yes, I do a lot of corporate consulting. I, obviously, I'm a keynote speaker, a motivational speaker to various companies all over the nation. Um, and um, I, like I said, I'm continuously um, trying to thrive and excel and and and, and um, cultivate my full gifts. You uh, you released a book, and then off the book came an award-winning documentary. I mean, why was it so important to you 
to um, put these things out there. To continue to show that I have layers. Um, it was important that I, when I, uh, as I started as a boxer, that I wouldn't be typecast as just, just a boxer. Mm -hmm. I wanted to use it as a vehicle to show that I had many elements of talent. And so I think people are starting to see that. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. But guess what? As I told you at the beginning, I've yet to arrive. Um, let's go ahead and uh, put up Paul's website. It's answerthebell.com. And while we do that, let's kind of switch gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, since we are talking about boxing, Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather on August 26th. I mean, some people are really excited about it. Some people call it a cash grab. Some people call it a cash grab. But I, I, what do you think this thing is? I, I think it's an event. I think it's a huge event. Um, but what I don't think it is, is, is a boxing match. So, um, but it is a huge event. I uh, have to give them props for being able to pull this off. Uh, I didn't think it was going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, for Conor McGregor to uh, finally convince, uh, to get even get a get license for this match, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be a big event, a huge event. But it, to me, it's not a boxing match. It surely is not a competitive boxing match. And, He's not uh, a boxer. With, with that being said, I mean, do you think Floyd gets his first, I mean, legitimate knockout, not the one that he had against Victor Ortiz where he sucker punched him. Do does he get his first legitimate knockout since 2007? If he wants to, mm -hmm. whenever he wants to. Mm -hmm. So it's that, that, that's how, that's, the, it's like, Le, it's like a middle school basketball player going against LeBron James. So <laughs> seriously, um, and you and, really think it's going to be not, it's, you, listen, you can post yourself there. I can show you many people who post themselves sending out posts of them hitting the heavy bag, sparring and what have you mm -hmm. until you get into under those lights. And, right. and it's, and I don't care. You can talk about four ounce gloves, six ounce gloves, eight ounce gloves. Hitting is hitting, and when you're a boxer, this guy is a, an elite boxer. He, and not only that, he's one of the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. So um, you're asking a guy who has, has uh, is, that is not a boxer, mm -hmm. has, doesn't have a boxing uh, record um, to beat one of the greatest ever. And I, I personally don't think that, so since, I'll just say this, since Floyd is such a uh -huh. performer, he'll allow it to go as long as it needs to go for right. him wanting to give the crowd what they need. I, I asked you this question when we were in the commissary. Uh, what about the octagon? You said it doesn't matter because Floyd can he, he fights wherever he wants. Well, he's a, he he says it all the time he's the A side. If 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 he if what's the name? If uh, McGregor mm -hmm. was this great boxer, like everyone says, he would be boxing right now. Right. He would be a boxer. I mean, there, there's more money. More money. A lot more money. A lot more money. So he would be, you know, as far as, you know, being Irish and things like that, right. he would be boxing. So oh. this is, uh, you call it a cash grab or whatever, but it's also brilliant. Uh, it's also a Marketing brilliant move. Scheme. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're both boxing fans. Let's talk about the other one that I'm excited about, Canelo and Triple G in mm -hmm. September. Now, this is a boxing match, isn't bona fide, it? Bonafide, bonafide match. I can't wait to see it. And interestingly, people said it should have happened, just like Floyd and uh, Pacquiao, it should have happened six years ago. This fight should have happened a few years ago. You have to let fights like this marinate. You have mm -hmm. to, you know, get people just where they're just wanting this deal to happen. It's happening at the right time. Uh, Canelo is maturing mm -hmm. as a middleweight, full-fledged middleweight now. Mm -hmm. He's growing. And then, you know, the question is now with, uh, with uh, Triple G, he had a very tough match against uh, uh, Daniel Jacobs, a very right. close uh, win. Uh -huh. But so people are asking, now is he starting to lose his luster and what have you? So there's questioning on his side. But I know the talent, and I definitely, you know, with his, with his trainer, Abel Sanchez, I have a lot of belief that they will be ready. This is going to uh, be a great fight. He's your former trainer now. We only have about 15 seconds left. Who wins Canelo Triple G? I never make a, uh, uh, predictions on who wins. I can just tell you it's a bona fide, legitimate fight, and either individual can win. I can honestly tell you it's a bona fide match. Uh, so I'm guessing you're going to buy that one and not the, the Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. All right. Well, the uh, KUSI News at 6 is next, so stay with us.